Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And this morning I'd like to capture my thoughts with the word seeing is believing. Now I'm a scientist, I mean uh, that's, that's where I, I train, my background is chemistry. And um, I, I have been trained to look at things through the eyeglasses of a test tube. That is to, to evaluate things qualitatively and quantitatively and to accept things if there is data. You get it if there is, uh, uh, what do you call it, there is, there is data to, to prove that this is, is there. So my proof doesn't stand in, in, the, uh, in the nether world or something like that, in, in the unseen. My proof is based upon facts. My proof is on based on analysis. My proof is based on analytical and quantitative analysis and qualitative analysis of issues, of, of, of problems, of, of reagents, of chemicals, of things. So you know what? That's how I've been trained. And I must be very honest sometimes, this particular train of thought can interfere with the things of God. And sometimes I am caught in the, in the fix of it because my mind, you know, has been trained to analyze things. And so uh, sometimes faith becomes difficult. Now there's a story of, of Thomas in John 20, if you remember, 24 to 28. John 20, 24 to 28. When Thomas, I mean, with the resurrection and everything, then Thomas comes to town and said, my friend, unless I see it, unless I touch, I can't believe. That was Thomas's first thing. Unless I see, I cannot believe. And then Jesus comes and shows him, and then Thomas said, blessed are those who don't see, yet believe. In our walk with God, it's not everything that we will see. In our, before we, before uh, we, we give God praise, in our, in our dealings with God, it's not everything that we see or touch or taste or feel before we give praise to God. But there may be moments where we don't see some things. But still, we need to lift up praise. But still, we need to give God praise. Because that's what faith is. Faith is the evidence of things not seen and the assurance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. But sometimes we need to move beyond our reasoning skills. We need to move beyond our five senses and look up to something that is not there. So sometimes we don't have to see before we believe. And Jesus says there's a blessing. There's an additional blessing in not seeing but believing. And those are the things that you, you want more blessings, rise up in faith. You want more blessing, you don't have to see before you believe. So the, the mantra that we normally have seen is believing, which is a mantra that is common to many people, does not really apply when it comes to divine transactions in our lives. Seeing is not always believing. Sometimes you believe and then you see. Sometimes we need to walk in faith before the evidence, before the physical manifestation of what we believe becomes a reality. And that's also a choice we have to make. And I can't fight you on it, but it's a choice you have to make. For me, I choose to believe, even though I don't see. See you later.